Good evening, everyone. Good night, teacher. Hi, how are you, Monica? Hi, thank you, and you? I'm great, thank you so much for asking. Hello there, Karen, how are you? I'm fine, miss. Excellent, very good to see you. Let's see, um, Angela Rosario, how are you? Good night. Hello, good evening. How are you, Angela? I I a little cold. Really? <laughs> because of the rain. All right, Angela. It's good to see you in class. Let's get to Mary. How are you, Mary? I'm okay, teacher. And you? I'm pretty happy and fine. Thanks so much for asking. Let's go with William. How are you, William? Your mic, your microphone. Hi, William, how are you? Hello, Miss. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm a little tired and nervous. Nervous. Why are you nervous? It's your last class. You should be happy. Hmm. It's ultima class, everyone. You should be happy. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for attending to class. As you might already know, today is the last class, so I'm going to share with you the PPT that I have prepared. All right. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Today is Monday, September 20th, 2021. We are in class 16. All right. Now, I have prepared pretty much a lot of content. I didn't realize it was, it was a lot of content. But let's see. We have this practice. Now, I know that some of you already finished the platform. Some of you already finished all the exercises. And let me tell you, congratulations to you. But we still need to practice in class. So this is a worksheet of adjectives, right? So it says adjectives describe a person, place, or thing. For example, the green grass is growing. The word green is an adjective. Now, for some of us, it could be a color, a simple color, right? Green, blue, purple, red, pink. But it's also an adjective. So let's work with these exercises, please. Select an adjective from the word bank to complete the sentences below. This is the word bank, okay? So let's work on it.
How are we doing? Did you finish? Okay, one more minute. Alejandro. Hi teacher, eh, me voy conectando. ¿Qué es lo que hay que hacer? You need to use this word bank. This, you need to use them to complete the sentences. You can use the adjectives purple, heather. Okay, gracias, teacher. Excellent. Let's start with Monica. Uh -huh, Monica. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Really good. All right. We might start because we have spent quite a lot of time in this exercise. What do you have for number one? Let me see, Karen. No. Okay. It says the fire. The, the fireman. The fireman rescued the cat from the tree, eh, sería low. Mm, what about brave? You know what brave is? When you are strong and you are not afraid of anything. Brave. 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 Valiente. Brave. Valiente. Brave. So the brave. Fireman rescue the cat from the tree. Thank you. Let's move down with sec the second one. Carlos Guevara, please. Okay, if we don't have it, let's go with Monica. My friend and I are going to watch a scary movie. Exactly, very good. My friend and I are going to watch a scary movie. Excellent, Monica. Thank you. Let's go with number three, William. Number three, yes. my friend, my friend like to read funny books about pirates. All right, what about Clever. You know what clever is? Do you know the meaning of clever, William? ¿Sabe lo que clever significa? Inteligente. Mm -hmm. So let's check that one. Just give me one second. Let's My friend mm -hmm. likes to read clever books about pirates. Okay, let's check. Just give me one second. Fairies, all right? Fairies. 
Sí. Repeat after me, fairies. Fairies. Ajá, fairies. Fairies. Right. Fairies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ana. Ajá, exactly. <laughs> yes. So that's correct. You're able to say clever books about fairies or funny books. You have two options, all right? So don't okay. worry. Each okay. of those options are correct. Thank Let's you, go with the other one. You're welcome. Let's go with number four, Maria Teresa. Um, sorry, sorry. I don't know. Oops. No, not thank you, teacher. Don't worry. Let's see. Um, William, can you tell me again what clever is? Let's help Mary. Hello? Tell me again what is clever. Inteligente. Uh -huh. So if we are talking, Mary, about a teacher, what could be the adjective that I could use? Inteligente. Um... Hello? Okay, did, did you listen? Clever, clever, or clever. Clever, or clever. Teacher again, who's homework. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good, that's correct. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, and thank you, William, again, for helping us with the meaning of the word. Now, okay. let's move on with the number that you see for five. Alejandro, what do you have for number five? My my pupil sock as he holy in it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. My purple sock has a hole in it. Hole is oil. So we can relate. <laughs> it happens. Repeat me. My my purple sock has a hole in it. Exactly. Oh, hole, I see. Hmm? Hole. Oh, hole in it. A ah, okay. hole. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. A ah, hole. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And let's go with the last one. Let's check Angela Rosario, the last one. Those long music horse uh -huh. you your ears. ears. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Angela. Does loud music hurt your ears? Right? Thank you very much. Now let's move on. Everyone, these exercises are practice for you because you already finished with the platform. And I need you to practice um, more. The more you practice, the better you'll become, all right? So for example, rearrange the sentences. These sentences are not in order. You have to make them in order. For example, number one, I not a teacher am. Um, mm -hmm. I am not a teacher. That's the correct form, right? Let's work on it, please. If you have any question, of course, you can ask me.
If you have any question about a specific word, or if by any chance in worst, worst case scenario, you don't remember uh, the structure, you might ask me as well. Finish. Excellent. Finish, Miss. Excellent. Finish. Very good. Look at you. Women are with all the power right now. <laughs> Excellent. Let's wait one more minute for the ones that hasn't finished yet. All right, let's jump in. What do you have for number one? Let's see. Mm. Let's see if now we have, let's see Monica, what do you have for number one? I am not a teacher. All right, I am not a teacher. Exactly. Yeah, that was the one that I told you. <laughs> Tell me number two, Monica. <laughs> I am a student. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Ah, no, así no se vale porque se me había olvidado. <laughs> que ya te las había dado yo, la number one. Okay, tell me number two, two. Number two. Mm -hmm. She is my mother. Excellent. Very good. Number three, Karen. Are the boys happy? Excellent, very good. Are the boys happy? Thanks. Number five, Alejandro. Uh, we we are not at home. Exactly. That's correct. Very good. We're not at home. Okay. Number, I don't know why does it appear number five in here again, but don't worry. Let's just pretend it's number five again. And I'm going to have, let me see just this message that I have receiving here. Huh? Ah, okay, Aniva, thank you for telling me. I'll take it into account. Let's continue. I'm going to have for the second, number five. William, can you help me, please? My dad is smart. Exactly, very good, that's correct. Emilio, what do you have for number six? Miss, number yes. four. Number, number six. La number four, no la solución, no la, nadie la ha solucionado. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you, William. <laughs> Let me check. Eh, okay, Emilio, then help me with number four, please. Uh, 
No le escucho bien, Emilio. Se escucha como que tiene un papel ahí. Y ahora, sí, yes, yes. Okay. Number four, Emilio. Four. The, the yield. The yield. Is intelligent. Number four, the girl, the girl, the girl, the, uh, the girl, the girl. Es que me dije que no la tenía compuesta todavía. I gave you plenty of time. Les di suficiente tiempo. Sí, I gave you plenty sí, of time. Sí, sí, okay. Thank you. Let's go with Maria Teresa. Help me with number four, please. Number four is the girl is in the room. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Simple as that. Don't forget, you need your subject, you need your verb to be, and then you need your complement. There's no other way to make these things. And let me see. Carlos Guevara, number six. I can't hear you. I don't know if you're talking, but I can't hear you. My mother is a housewife. Exactly, that's correct, thank you. Let's go with Linda Alas, number seven, please. She is not my sister. Exactly, she's not my sister. Very good, that's correct. Angela Rosario, number eight, Please. Is the teacher angry? Mm -hmm, exactly. Is the teacher angry? Excellent. Very good. And the last one, number nine, Jamilet Torres. Is the dog in self kennel? Repeat again, please, Jamila. The dog is, is the dog in the kennel. Okay. This is, is not a question, so we can make it as a statement. The dog is in the kennel. Excellent, Jamila. Thank you very much. Now, my dear students, my wonderful and beloved students, we have arrived to the time in which we have the listening. Some of you already finished the platform and I'm proud of you. Some others um, haven't yet finished the platform, but still, I hope you finish it for today. And then you're also able to make the final midterm or the final exam. So we have part A, listening, instructions, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Now for this part, um, I'm just gonna give you the answers. For example, in number one, uh, what, let's see, Monica, what do we have in number one? Give me the question and the answer. Where is Justin from? Where, are, sorry, where, where is Justin from? Mm -hmm. Respond, uh, she answer. is from Canada. Answer, mm -hmm. she is from Canada. Excellent, that's the correct one. Thank you, Monica. Let's go with number two, William. What is my life? My life, perdón. Mm -hmm. What is my life? Tell me the answer. He's a little kid, but very funny. Uh -huh. He's a little quiet. Quiet. Mm -hmm. But both very funny. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you, William. 
Now, those are the answers for that part. Let's continue with this one. We got number three. Mm, let me check. Karen, please, number three. Was the water like? It's raining, but it's warm. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. And the last one. Let me see. I'm going to have Alejandro, please. Number four, teacher. Number four, verdad? <clears throat> Number four. I'm sorry for la huya de la baby. Don't worry. Miss Sue wearing a blue dress. No, she's no. She's wearing a suit. All right, repeat after me, Alejandro. Weary. Weary. Wearing. Wearing. Mm -hmm, exactly. Should. 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 No, como si no tuviera la. Ahí no tenemos H, por eso no podemos decir should. Uh, solo quítale la I. Mentalmente, claro. Uh, imagine que solo está S U T. Suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's correct. Thank Suit. you. Thank you, Mr. Contreras. Okay, everyone, just give me one second. Okay. I'll be right back. Give me one second, okay? Me dan un minutito. Ya regreso. Menos de un minutito. En un segundo soy aquí. All right, we might continue as well. Now, we have part B. Read the answers, then write the questions. Um, let's see, William, tell me the instructions, please. Instruction. To be able to work on this exercise, you need to read the answer first. Based on the answer, you might type your question. Do not forget to hear a question mark at the end. Excellent. Thank you, William. Now, if you pay attention to the last part of the instruction, it says, do not forget to add a question mark at the end. Do not, by any means. You can have correct everything, but if you don't have the question mark, it would be pretty much impossible for you to get the correct answer. Now let's jump right in. Example, uh, I'm gonna have Linda Alas, please read the example. A and B. What's your name? My name is Tim. Are your parents in Peru? No, they're not in Peru. They're in Canada. Excellent, thank you. Everyone, do you remember that the question mark is the last symbol that the question must have, even in Spanish, in English, in French, in any language, you need a question when you're asking something. So let's see, what could, it says the answer for number one. No, they are not from England, they are from Australia. What could be the possible answer for number one in part A, Monica? Number one, 
are your parents in England? No, they are not from England. They are from Australia. Okay, thank you. What do you have for number one in letter A? A Carlos Guevara. Hi. Me puede repetir. What do you have for letter A in this question? What's your question for number one? Uh, <clears throat> ah, okay. Are they from England? Right, exactly. That's correct. Are they from England? England. Uh -huh. No, that's correct. Excellent. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué estamos preguntando por they? La respuesta nos dice cómo debe de ir eh, la pregunta. No, they are not from England. Okay, so we're talking about they. Are they from England? That's the only option that we have. And also we have, uh, you have it in capital or you have it in normal letter, right? So keep in mind that. What about number two? Karen, what do you have for number two? If the answer is we're from New York. Let's see. Eh, Monica? Where are you from? Where are you from or where are they from? Where are you from? Where is where are you from? Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Porque, si, porque where are you from? Si aquí estábamos hablando del day, no sería, where are they from? No, remember that we're talking about Tim's family. So it's the same thing, right? Where are you from? We are asking about him and his family. That's why the answer is, we're from New York. That's correct, Monica, thank you. Number three, what could be the possible answer for number three, Maria Teresa? Number three, how old is she? Mm -hmm. How old is she? How old is she? Exactly. Uh -huh. As I think she is 22. Exactly. Very good, Melody. Thank you. What about number four? Linda Alas. If the question, if the answer says, no, my first language, isn't a Spanish, it's Portuguese. Is your first language Spanish? Excellent, that's correct, pretty good. Everyone, muchos de ustedes tienen buena la estructura, pero aún así, mis, ¿qué pasa? La plataforma no me la agarra. No se olviden que eh, los países, los languages, countries, nationalities, and everything, or names, they should be with capital. Siempre la capital. La mayúscula. No se les olvide. Porque por eso a veces no les va a aceptar la respuesta. All right? También el question mark. No lo olviden. And the last one. Number five. Let's see. Uh, William, what do you have for number five? Yes, I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. You are Japanese? You are or are you are you Japanese? Japanese. Japanese. Uh -huh, exactly. Are you Japan Japanese? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you, everyone. Very good job.
Let's move on. Part B. Read the answers, then write the questions. Um, let me see. The instructions. To be able to be able to work on this exercise, you need to read the answers first. Ah, wait. I have it twice. <laughs> All right, no. Yeah, I have it twice, the answer, the exercise. I have it in here. Those are the correct options, all right? Those are the correct options that you have to make in the, in the midterm exam or in the final exam, as whatever you call it. <laughs> Let's move on to part C. Choose the correct adjective to complete the sentences. I hope that so far you do remember adjectives. It says, choose the correct adjective, complete the sentences. Number one, Larry isn't serious. Uh, let's see. Karen, what's number one? He's... Dígame, William. Tell me, William. Larry isn't serious. He is funny that's correct indeed that's the right one. yes that's the correct answer thank you thank number you, two no don't worry don't worry and number two cutting jian is really good at studying she's very see Okay, analicemos el contexto. Dice Jane is really good student, right? She's good student. She's very, si yo digo she's very thin, ella es bien delgada. Oh, is friendly? Amistosa. She's very uh, smart. Exactly. Oh, she's very smart. We need to see smart. Exactly. We need to see both options. Jane is really good student. She's very smart because it's telling you that she's a good student. Thank you, Karen. Let's go with Jamilet. Tell me number three, please, Jamilet. My teacher is short. She's tall. Exactly. My teacher, my teacher, sorry. My teacher isn't short. She's tall. Excellent. Thank you. All right. The last one, number four. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Alejandro, what do you have for number four? My brother is good, good looking, he's in ter interesting. Ok, este vocabulario ya lo aprendieron ustedes con un montón de pictures que tenían en una imagen, ya se podía en el vocabulario. Let's see. He's very interesting. ¿Tiene eso relación He's... con el hecho de que él es, que tiene buen aspecto? Oh. Creo que sí, aunque también eh, no sé si se podría usar pretty. Ajá, yo les dije en la clase. ¿Quién se recuerda que les dije de pretty? Ay. Ajá, ¿qué les dije de pretty? A ver. Eh, pretty se utiliza para eh, the woman. Exactly, women, exactly. That's correct, William. Uh, so what's the other option? Uh -huh. What's the other option? No puede ser interesante. Handsome. 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 
Excellent. Very good. All right. El okay. Okay. handsome es para hombres. Yo no puedo decir, eh, she's handsome. No. Right? I can say she's pretty, okay. beautiful, she's gorgeous, but not handsome. Handsome is like remember the music. Uh -huh. Pretty woman. Uh -huh, exactly. There you have it. Exactly. So handsome is mandatory for men, right? Solo para hombres, handsome. Okay, and gracias. Welcome. Let's go with D. Choose the correct answer to the question. Instruction. Choose the correct answer to the question. <laughs> it's the same topic as the instruction. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was funny. Uh, let me go with a uh, number one. Linda Alas, what do you have for number one? <laughs> Mm. Is this Suez scarf and yes, cheese and no cheese, yes, cheese scarf. Mm -hmm. Si usted me dice, yes, she is a scar, le está diciendo que ella es la bufanda. Ah, scar is bufanda. Exactly. Ok, es, is, is, ah, ok, sí, sí, perdón. Is this su scar? Eh, yes. Let's see. Yes, this, I don't know, it's not her, it's mine. Ah, okay. Exactly. Thank you. Don't worry, in this one, you gotta use a, this one, it could be a little bit tricky because you don't know if you're gonna use a possessive adjectives or if you're only gonna use simple present, right? So don't worry, Linda, I understand. Is this Sue's scarf? The scarf? No, it's not hers, it's mine. You had in that exercise, let me see. You had how many choices? You have four choices. No, three choices. Maybe there's Katie's. No, it's not hers, it's mine. And no, and yes, they are hers. Por qué no puedo utilizar no, they are hers, William? ¿Por qué no puede utilizar no? They are hers. No, they are hers. They are hers. No, it's not. Porque, mm, bueno, yo puedo observar que no es el orden que, correcto. Uh -huh. No es... Por no, no ser el orden correcto de la respuesta. That's true. And also, uh, we are talking about just one scarf. We're not talking about three or four scarves. Como no estamos sí, hablando pues, más de una, no podemos utilizar el plural, right? All right. That's correct, William. Thank you. Excellent. Um, let's go with number two, Monica. Monica, number two. Mm -hmm. Those, those boards are this. Whose boots are this? Boots are they? Mm -hmm. You want me to show you the and let's see. Let's no, see. No, are. Uh -huh. No, it will Seria. Not are these. Okay, let's see. Don't worry. 
pregunta. No se preocupe. Let's see, María. What do you got for that one? These boats are mine. All right. Let's see. ¿Quién de ustedes ha llegado hasta esta parte ya del examen? I am. But I'm, I'm sorry. Um, no, you're, you can say, I have. I have, right? Yo también, ya, ya, ya. Excellent, very good. Alejandro, excellent. Okay, so the answer. No me pregunte. Ya le voy a preguntar. <laughs> ¿Para qué me di bueno? Okay. Maybe Hades tienen la misma eh, answer. Tienen la misma opción de respuesta the, the number one, right? But in this one is maybe they are cages. That's the correct one. What do you have for number three, Karen? Are this Lisa? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's see. Yes, yes they are hairs. Why? Because gloves is more than one. Gloves? Do you remember gloves? We learned we learned that vocabulary like three classes ago, right? I hope you do remember. Let's go to number four. Who's hat? Is this okay? Carlos Guevara, what do you have for number four? Who was, is this? I think it's yours. That's the correct one. I think it's yours. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. And the last one. Are these Peter's and Katie's coats? No, they aren't theirs. They are ours. All right? They are ours. All right, everyone. There you have it. That's one part of, that's another part of the exam. Let's move on. Part E. Remember that I, I think that today is the last day in which you could uh, deliver the exam. Use the correct present continuous form of the verb. Number one, are you wearing jeans, Alejandro? Number one. Yes, number one. Uh, Explíqueme, uh, uh, teacher, por <laughs> Okay, you have three options. Le voy a dar sus tres opciones. Presta atención. Uh, la question, the, the question says, are you wearing jeans? Here we go with the three options. No, I'm wearing a suit. No, no, I'm wearing a suit. No, I wearing a suit. And no, I am wears a suit. What will you say, Alejandro? Which of those three options? I have these three options. No, I wearing a suit. No, yeah, wearing a suit. And no, I'm wears 
Azure. ¿Cuál de estos tres escogería usted, Alejandro? Number two, teacher. That's correct. No, I'm wearing a shoe. All right? Because we... Y, y, en español estaría diciendo, eh, estás usando jeans. Are you wearing jeans? Eso sería la pregunta. La respuesta Ajá. es, no, I'm wearing a shoe. Estoy, no, estoy utilizando o estoy usando. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Sí. What about number two? Angela Rosario. Is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? Mm, no, he isn't wearing a tie. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you, Angela. Very good. Thank Jamilet Torres, number three, please. Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Sweaters? Jamilet Torres? Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Maria Teresa, what do you have for number three? Number three. No, no, they are not. It's very hot. Excellent. That's correct. No, they are not. It's very hot. Thank you. And the last one, Carlos Guevara, what do you have for number four? Is it uh, raining? No, it's not raining. It's snowing. Excellent, that's the correct one. Very good job, thank you. All right, everyone, and finally, we have get to part F, right? The last part of the final exam. And let me see, instructions. Look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the, hour, for the hours displayed on each watch. Now, you have the example. Uh, Monica, help me with the example, please. The sample. A. What time is it? B. It's 20 after 2 or it's 2.20. Excellent. Thank you. Remember that you have more than one option to provide the timing. So let's work on it. I'm going to have number two. Let's see, William, what you got for number two? What time is it? It's seven or... Yeah, it's seven. It's seven or... It's seven two. It's seven. It's seven two. No me diga, no me diga. I'm sorry, it's ten. It's ten. Faltan diez minutos. It's ten two. It's ten two or seven. No, it's ten two. Hacen falta diez minutos para las siete. ¿Cómo lo diría? Eh. No me diga, no me diga y sí le digo. 
I don't know. Mm, let's see. Hey, let's dime la Okay, si me faltan 10 minutos, pero I know that this is 7, so 7, 2. No, uh, it's 10, 2, 7. Okay, it's 10 to 7. 10 minutos para las 7. It's 10 it's to 10 7. To 7. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's, it's 10, 10 to 7. Or I have this other one. It's 6, 6, 50. Five, mm -hmm. It's 6, 50. 6 is 50, all right? Lo mismo, right. 10 minutos para las 7 o 6 is 50. 6.50. All right, let's go. Thank you, William. Let's go with number three, Maria Teresa. Okay, number three. What time is it? It's A45. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a quarter to nine. Excellent. That's correct. Very good answers. It's a 45 or it's a quarter to nine. Thank you. And the last one, let me see. You already have the answers. <laughs> what time is it, Alejandro? It's 11, five, it past five, 11. All right, let's check. Exactly, indeed. It's five past 11 or it's 11.05. Excellent, thank you. Ese sí me acordaba. All right, excellent, <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, timing is really important, so it's good that you do remember. All right, everyone, check this out. That was the last part of the exam. You're finally free. I hope all of you get already your diploma. This is our last class. It was a pleasure to see you and being with you. Ha sido un placer estar con ustedes en este curso, ¿verdad? Espero que les vaya bien en el próximo y que siempre continúen con mucho éxito, ¿verdad? Aprendiendo el idioma. Este es un idioma muy lindo y yo sé que les va a ayudar muchísimo, right? Goodbye, everyone. Have a great teacher, day. Teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Thank you. Welcome. Teacher, it's a question. Tell me. Usted va a seguir con nosotros. I don't know, honey. No estoy segura. No me han dicho ahorita qué curso me toca. Ay, ojalá que sí. Good night, teacher. ¿Y cuándo inicia el otro? I'm not sure, Mr. Guevara. Pero pueden preguntar ustedes en el email. Sí, me dijeron probablemente el 21, que es mañana. <laughs> Pero no sé, no, no he confirmado nada. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, but maybe, you know, I, I don't know. At least I don't know. Todavía no me han dicho a mí, so. I don't have idea. Well, no. All right. All right, everyone. Bueno. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you, Alejandro. I'm going to miss you too, everyone. Bye. Bye, miss. Mucho molestado.